All right, 10, 10 volts, two minutes. Let's go, sonic speed. Gotta go fast. Just a disclaimer before we get started, this is not a tutorial on any of these vaults. This is just, if you've never heard of them, they know what they mean. There are plenty of tutorials out there, so if you see one that you like, go learn it. I don't care, man, it's your life. Do what you want. Number one is the safety vault. So safety vault is the safest vault. It's probably the first one that everybody learns. Run up to the object, put your hand and your foot on, push off, thread your other foot through, and then get over it. Number two is the speed vault. It's just like the safety vault, except instead of putting your foot down, you run up to the object, gain a lot of speed, and then once you're horizontal over the object, put your hand down, push off, and then keep going. Number three is the turn vault. Place your hands on the object. I like to do switch grip. You jump over it and catch on the other side and cat leap. It's a very simple vault, but it can get pretty scary whenever you get up to heights. Number four, the infamous Kong vault or monkey vault or cat pass. Run up to the object, jump, dive, place, whatever you want to do with your hands. Hands will push down, your feet will come through. It's simple to learn, but it takes a very long time to master. Number five, the dash vault. You run up to the object, jump over it, your feet come over first, and your hands push it off behind you. Number six, the cash vault. Like the name suggests, it is a Kong and a dash vault. So the beginning is a Kong up, and then you pull your feet through and dash off of it. Number seven is the thief vault. Approach the object as you normally would in a speed vault, but whenever you put your hand on, you'll swing your legs around, put your second hand underneath you, and then push off into a dash vault. Number eight, the lazy vault. Very similar to a thief vault, but instead of running up to the object and passing to the other hand, you'll put one hand on, go over your back, pass the object to your other hand, and then push off, still facing sideways. Number nine is the reverse vault. You run up to the object, jump over it backwards, put your hand on to block, and then you'll rotate over your hand until you're facing forward again. Number 10 is the gate vault. All you do is go up to about a hip, hip height object. You'll keep one hand on the top, lean over, put one hand on the bottom, and then you can flip your upper body over the top using your hand as a fulcrum. And there you go, 10 vaults. These are not all of them, this is about 80%. Uh, most of the other ones are just variations or progressions on top of these vaults. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to see more content like this, let me know. Either way, I'll see you in the next video. Bow, let's go.